Hello everybody and welcome to round 31 of 35 in the NASCAR Nationwide Series here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. We are starting in 16th, 4th in the points, 181 back. Uh, point leader Reagan, 10th. 2nd in points, Edwards is 2nd in the race. And Biffle, 3rd in points, is 8th. So... This is the version of Lowe's we ran in the spring. I realized a little bit late, so we're just going to stick it out. So we might have a major wreck early on. We'll see. But uh, we are running a little bit more difficult. We upped it by one point. So we'll see how we fare. Immediately to third. I'm going to take advantage of this early. Not going to get full throttle just yet. Try to keep it down off of Wimmer because I'm, yeah, we're three wide. This should be fun. How have we not wrecked? Wow, we held it three wide for a while there. Pretty impressed. Oh, they're wrecking. Wow. Damn, Reagan was up there just a lap ago. He could have been involved. What a lucky son of a bitch. Caution one. We had a front row seat to this. We're back there. Biffle and Bobby. And then they make contact. And Denny and well, Kevin's in the wall. They come up. Tags Denny Hamlin. We kind of know all this. Bobby gets hooked around there. Thought he was going to hit us. They are sliding down the back straight away. Uh, no one else really is wrecking there. But a lot of cars were out. So it's got to happen here. Leffler's going to hit him, yeah. The, oh, Derek right into Kevin. Oh, there it goes. Potter. Whoa. Holy crap. We haven't seen a car. Wow. We haven't seen a crash like this all season. Multiple cars flying in the air. Holy crap. Wow. That's insane. Nobody else coming or wrecking over here, right? Yeah. Nobody else. Sorry for all the crazy camera movements there. He's still flipping. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, no. Mark Green gets tagged into Harmon. Wallace is in there. Baker's aiming right at him. Yep. Oh, no, Brad. Hits the wall hard there. That looked like Kenny Wallace just came in and wrecked. That's crazy. Crazy wreck. All right, so we're going to take a look at a different angle here real quick. We're at, like, height level of the wall. I want to see how high those cars went. So we're already in the middle of the crash, as you can see, obviously. Then he drives away. Here's where we're looking. This just monster stack up when Leffler came down. They just explode. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. I think he's higher than we were at Talladega. He lands on top of Stremi. Harvick's on top of Bobby. That is a brutal crash. Derek Cope ain't no spring chicken either. We may retire him after this race. Holy crap. And then Gonsolman's just like, hey, Derek, want to go for a ride? Does he clip him again? No, he goes under him. All right, here's part two of this crash. We saw how it kind of starts with Harmon. They're all piling up there. So far, it's only those three racing back to the caution until Baker's going to get in here. Clips them. Kenny Wallace hits Mike. Baker just smacks the wall. Kenny's sliding to a stop. And then, was there anything on the front stretch? No. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> what a wreck. We got to do a couple onboards. Our first onboard is Larry Gunselman. He can't even see the crash. They're bouncing off the wall. There he sees it. Oh, my goodness. He's down here, and then he, like, drives almost underneath. That's... Whew. Here's the next crash. They all get blinked out going, like, tow trucks, so they're okay. This ride is with Derek Cope. This might be our longest replay of the season. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Terrible wreck. Kevin Harvick's view of this crash. Let's watch this. He gets a surprise. He's in the wall. And now they're just wrecking in front of him. Oh my goodness. That's a bad crash. Steven Wallace's view. Just makes it. Our final view is with Scott Wimmer. That, that was wild. Uh, let's see, does he see anything over here with what happens? No, they're behind him. Wow, he almost got clipped. That was wild. <laughs> Judging by the looks of it, that was a big crash. Baker, LePage, Cope, Mike Wallace, Kevin Harvick. Sorry, I had to fix my headphones. I was wondering why my head was hurting. The cable on the top is twisted on my head. Uh, <laughs> Harvick, Ambrose, Labani, Biffle, Biffle, Mark Green, Harmon, Kenny Wallace, Leffler, Potter, Coleman, Bliss, Stremmy, and Sauter. Out. Wow. That's like half the field. It happened in the front of the field, so it makes sense. Curtis Davis is three laps down up there. So Biffle's out. So we're third in points. And then if we go into turn one and just hook Reagan. I'm kidding. I'm not going to hook Reagan. All right, buddy. Come to the green here. I don't think we've wrecked Reagan once this season. Okay, the car's gone. Stay I know we've picked on Carl Edwards, but... 
Green flag. Green flag. I should have gone to the outside, but I didn't want to take a chance. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Curtis. Alright, we just gotta keep it together. That's fine. Alright, as long as we were ahead of Reagan, that's all that mattered to me. So many cars out though. Odds of an incident coming in. Oh. Reagan, thank you for not wrecking me. Yeah, tip of the hat to Reagan. Class move. He could have stuck it down farther and wrecked me, and he didn't. I really appreciate that. Doesn't mean he won't try again, but he is super close to my bumper. It's making me very nervous. Clear all around, all clear. How is the lap car giving us this much of a headache? All right, finally. Reagan. In case you didn't know, we are in a tight points battle. I can't just let you go. Even though you cut me some slack, well, now I'm going to drift up, and I doubt you'll cut me any slack. Well, okay. Cool. <laughs> Hopefully, well, I doubt we'll see much lap traffic, but if we do, hopefully uh, we can catch up to some of those cats up there. My silence doesn't mean that I'm forgetting to talk, it just means I'm focused. <laughs> I don't know what I'm focused on more, keeping the 6 behind me or catching the 41. We got kind of sideways there. I appreciate Reagan very much so far. He has not hit me. And he's running me hard. That's what she said. Oh, boy. Wimmer, it looks like in my mirror, is going for Reagan. That might give us a break. Yeah, that's going to give us a slight break for a minute there. Until we hit the freaking wall. Okay, no damage. That's good. Oh, boy. Reagan's had enough. We're going to have to get in front of Rudiman. All right. We clipped the apron, and the car got loose. Nothing I could do. He had his nose there. He cut me so many brakes, I wasn't going to push it. But it sucks. Because I doubt... Frickin' A! That damaged us. Make sure I turn that off in case we have to pit for some reason. Rudiman, I will not hesitate to turn you. If you bump me. Frustration levels rising. But given we've had to redo this race several times due to game crash and errors, just want to get through it. I don't know if I covered that in the beginning, but this is like our eighth attempt. And 
go figure, it's like our worst attempt. We're maintaining, but that seems to be the story here at Lowe's. We can stay with a group and maintain, but it's like we just kind of can't pass. I think it was the trucks, or maybe it was the Nationwide in the spring. Same deal. I kept thinking it was Nationwide earlier, but maybe it was, oh, maybe it was both. Kyle Busch is leading. Last thing we need to see is Carl win a race, but considering that there hasn't been many winners, it's been six wins, Edwards, Biffle and Reagan three, Kyle Busch three. Some guy has 12, I think that's us. It is. Hence the paint scheme changes for these final few races. Can we still say we're... Oh. Can we still drive the white hot race car? Even if we finish ninth? Yeah, I guess a top 10 still keeps us in the conversation as being pretty hot at this moment. Wow, we got a great run on Wimmer. Surprised. We are not clear. No way. Yeah, see, I knew we had a fender up on him. Play the brakes and the gas a little bit. All right, all right. Maybe we can catch her again. Well, that was cool. We made a pass. Call Guinness. We're setting records. We're passing cars at Lowe's. Alright, now I'm just being silly. Now I'm just being stupid using words like silly. I guess not. I'm talking to myself. Crazy would be the better word. Oh, come on. Stay down. Alright. Reagan got held up. We are going for it. Outside. Reagan, you're a gentleman. And you've been really kind, but we are trying to pass you. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, it makes sense. We were pinned at the bottom, so, and had a poor entry. But trying to watch Wimmer in my mirror now is going to hurt me trying to get to Reagan. Also, I think the tires are wearing, yeah, not terrible, but they are wearing decently. Thirty-seven to go. We're a lot slower in three and four. In qualifying, I ran a high groove in three and four and ran the low groove in one and two, and it seemed to work. It's just with Wimmer there, I don't want to take a chance because he could get under me, and that's you know game over with trying to pass him back. Wish we were a little bit closer to Reagan when we get up to these lap cars. One, it would help us get through them. And two, we could try to make another three wide go at it. Six and a half back to the leaders. Kyle Busch still leads. 
With not many cars left in the race, I doubt we're going to see another caution either, so. Got to make the best with what we got right now. We are actually pulling on Wimmer. So that is exciting, actually. We're not pulling by much, but a little bit. Man, Reagan took off as soon as he like sniffed the draft from that lap car. And Wimmer's coming back, so short lift. Well, he's only staying about. He's averaging like a two tenths of a second difference, but he's still sniffing our draft, so. And we're losing Reagan, so I think that's hurting us. I mean, we're obviously not content with eighth, but we gotta take what we can get when we get it. And Biff will be an out. Where did he gonna finish? 33rd, so. At least we're moving up in the points, you know? We're gonna lose points on these two cats ahead of us, but we're gaining positions in the points, so that feels like something. If he can stay side by side with who's that? Kennington? Oh, that's that's Casey Kane for position. That's not a lap car. Interesting. Casey's falling back to us. I was wondering why he was having a hard time catching him. Wimmer is back up on our bumper. Just past halfway. Phew, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Starting to apply a little bit more brake in the center. Is that a lap car? Yeah, that's Kislowski. Brad, yeah. That's right, I think Brian's out. We aren't checking it right this second, but. No, no, Brian's not out. I don't know where he's at. Or maybe he is, and I just didn't look hard enough. <laughs> Oh, brother. Let's see. Oh, no. Father, son, 21st, 22nd. That's cute. Get on his outside. That might hold up Wimmer. Clear all around, all clear. It does hold up Wimmer, so that's good. Trying to hang on. Rudiman's now for position behind us. I can see Casey Kane. It's like, ugh, I just want to get up there to pass him. But we're not really making much headway. And with 
two drivers behind us side by side is making me nervous. We must be super slow if two drivers side by side can hang with us. That just seems wrong. Right front's yellow. One and two, we kind of went up a like to the middle. And it seems like that's okay. Kind of dipped a little bit lower than we did the last lap, but it's not too bad. This is the turn I've struggled the most. Three and four. Because once we get a slight gap on Wimmer, I'm like scared to try the outside. Oh no. He won't get us off of two though. Right? Still there. Clear, clear. We had to whoa it up a good chunk to try to keep him behind us, but he had to step on the brakes a little harder, so that's good. Reagan's up to fourth. That sucks. Are we making any headway on those leaders? We're 10 3 back. Kyle's just dominating. We are making time up on Casey Kane though. At one point I saw he was 1.9. 7 tenths now. Pulled a whole half a second on Wimmer. I can feel that we have Casey's draft, so I know that's helping us. And those two are side by side, so... Well, they looked like they were for a second. Yeah, because Rudiman passed him. Or maybe Rudiman... No, they said 29 last time. Oh, our tires must have worn a little bit more there, because all of a sudden it pulled up to the outside. slow it down enough to get back to the bottom because Rudiman's there. He's coming on strong here at the end. We are gaining time though, Casey King. Brian Kozlowski kind of hurts us a little bit there, but not too much. All right, lap 45. I feel like we've been in like eighth the entire race. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to see something different up there. I feel like we might see something actually shortly. Rudiming tagged us a little there. We hit the wall.
I don't know if we're going to have enough time to rebound from that. We're four tenths back. But that was while we were still kind of getting back up to speed, so it's probably more. trying to chase down Kane as hard as I can and I think I just clipped the apron ever so slightly. Yeah, we're half a second now. He's gonna have a slight hold up from... Wow, I have no idea how we ended up down there on the exit. He's gonna have a slight hold up though because of the lap cars, so... We might be able to make up a little time here. Oh yeah, we're gonna make up good time. We're gonna clear Gunselman pretty quick. So that might hold up those guys behind me. Give me a shot at a fair ride against Casey here. Without stressing. Yeah, that is nice. Alright. Fran frickin' Kitty. Golly dang. Dude, get out of the way. Every time we get, like, right on the doorstep of passing Casey, something goes awry. I think that's the word. We're just gonna have to settle for eighth. I'm not gonna give Wimmer much room. Wow, how do we save that? We were leaning on each other, that's for sure. Rudiman, I think, hit the wall. He panicked. Well, our spot changed. Ninth. Come on. Hang on, top ten at least. Wow, look how fast Wimmer is. We held him off for a while, all things considered. Right in the center there, it feels like the car just wants to go to the wall. I mean, it's probably our tires, but it feels weird. What's even weirder is we're having a hard time with lap traffic. Alright. Seven to go. Well, seven to go this time at the line. Wow, Wimmer just caught up to Clausen. Oh, wait, is that Kane? Oh, that's a lap truck. Lap car. Why do they stick their nose when there's no room? That was a risky bump. Clear all around, all clear, inside, clear, clear. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Every spot matters right now. When Reagan's in fourth. Every spot matters. We gotta fight off to hold into this ninth spot. It sucks that we lost eighth. 
enough, so we gotta fight for it. Five to go. Five left, left. Even if it means we gotta take a slower exit out of these corners to keep him under us, we gotta do it. Not proud of it, and I don't like it. We're points racing now. Not racing for the win. Are you kidding me? We're going to clear them. Clear all around, all clear. Oh my gosh, stay down. Frickin' A. Bobby Labonte, I think, is in this mix. No, no one, no one lead lap is near us. Alright, that's good. Lap cars are tangling with us, though. So, that's special. Rudim is going to come back down. Kyle's still leading. He's got a couple seconds lead. We gotta keep this thing down on that line. Oh my gosh, we're like on the verge of going a lap down. We're the last cars on the lead lap. It's almost tempting to slow him down so we go off the lead lap and then we cross the line and we're done. So we don't have to fight him for another whole lap. One more lap, guys. One more lap. My mic's not muted. It is recording. All right, good. Sound constipated again. I know I've done that before. Oh, boy, we're going to hold on. All right, ninth place. So Kyle Busch gets the win. Carl Edwards, Clint Boyer, David Reagan, Kelly Byers, Brian Clausen, Casey Kane, Wimmer, us, and Rudiman. Not much to say. <laughs> Disappointed with it, but still, it's not a bad finish. So thank you all. We'll see you at uh, Charlotte for the Cup race on Monday. So, in the meantime, thanks for all the love and support through likes, comments, subscriptions, etc. And until next time, have a good one.